All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here for our press conference. Welcome to the Ableton booth. My name is Houston Singletary. I'm the lead clinician for Ableton. Uh, we got some special guests today. We're going to be talking with our good friends at Serato. Here's the press conference, and we're going to present the bridge. So, what in the hell are they going to do? And I think this is probably the, the biggest leap thus far. Once, once you hear the two brands together, you know, your mind just starts to, to wonder what's, what's coming. I think there's nothing really that's combined producing and DJing, you know, like what I've just seen. You know, I don't even think they, they know what's, what's going to hit them. Just to, to see the two things working together is just like, it's an immediate step forward. And... It's pretty damn exciting. That's that's what that's a dream come true, you know. Um, you would never think that that would happen. What we're going to do is um, we're going to look for a track in our library. Uh, the first part of this is called Ableton Transport Control. So um, this is the Ableton Live set. You can see the name of the set there. It's called Dance Loops Demo Set, uh, and you can control this using the turntable. switch back to Scratch Live, you can see that uh, instead of the standard waveform we have a marker to indicate the beats and the bars. So um, it's, this is very cool but we thought uh, wouldn't it be great if you didn't have to switch between the two applications. So uh, what we did is we've added this button here, the Ableton button that exposes the Ableton view. full control of Ableton Live from within the Scratch Live GUI. And you're also able to uh, load up another track, a regular MP3, a WAV file, uh, and then mix that in with the, with the Ableton Live set. That's pretty cool, but wouldn't it be even cooler if you didn't have to use up one of your virtual decks in Scratch Live uh, with the Ableton set? So on the left-hand side here, uh, down in the Ableton view, you'll see the Ableton player, and you're able to take that track, the Ableton track, and play it inside the Ableton player. So that gives you the ability to play Ableton Live independent of the two tracks that you have playing on the turntables. Yeah, no problem. So that means that you can play a like a, a regular vinyl DJ set, and you can use uh, Ableton Live as like a, a synced loop sampler to play over the top of your regular tracks. 
Um, you can also use Ableton Live to play instruments over the top or drive, drop in lots and lots of samples. Yeah, so what we have now is the Ableton Live session synced to the MP3 that's playing on the right there. So we're now playing an MP3 with Ableton Live synced over the top on one side, and we can mix in a regular MP3 on the other side. So that's the first part. Um, the second part of crossing the bridge is the other way, from Serato to Ableton. Uh, and what we can do is we can actually close down Ableton Live now uh, and close the Ableton view. And what we're going to do is just as simple as choosing save as ALS from the recording mix. So down the bottom there, you have ALS as one of the options. And what we can do now is record a little set. recording there was some tracks loaded uh, there was some movement in the records uh, the crossfader was moved uh, and what you're gonna see now is we're gonna find that recording and load it up in Ableton Live and we're gonna play it back The top track is everything that was played on the left turntable, and the bottom track is everything that was played on the right turntable. There's various bits of automation recording in here. Down at the bottom there, you see all the crossfader movement. So what that means is that you've made a fully non-destructive record of everything that you've done on the turntables. How about that, folks? <laughs> Okay, so that's uh, a very, very quick overview of what we've done. As we said, we're going to be uh, going through this in more detail immediately after this, so please stick around. Jesse. So the uh, important question next is how much is the bridge going to cost? And uh, the good news is it's going to be free for registered users of Scr Serato Scratch Live and Ableton Live 8 and its users. So if you own both programs, the bridge is free. Thank you very much. Uh, if anyone has any questions, so we're going to stick around for a while, and then um, we're going to be doing a full demo, so make sure you stick around for that. And there will be demos throughout the show. You can check our schedule afterwards, too. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Stick around. We're going to be running through a demo with the bridge in just a second.